I'm John Sadler of Sadler Sports Insurance, and we're the endorsed insurance provider for DYB, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball. And I'd like to take a few minutes today to give you some guidance on how to best protect yourself during the 2023 season. You can find out everything you need to know about insurance and risk management on our website. Just go to SadlerSports.com and you can click on the links to either DYB, Dixie Boys, or Dixie Softball. And I'm going to click on the link to DYB, but I can tell you that the pages for all three programs are virtually identical, but for today's purposes, we're just going to look at the DYB page. If you scroll down, you'll quickly see the rates we have listed for all five policies, the accident, the general liability, and also the directors and officers liability crime and equipment. And I can tell you that all of these policies have custom coverage enhancements built in for your protection that you're not likely to find anywhere else. Also scroll up to the quick education section, which is perfect. If you're the new person in charge of insurance, you can get a quick study on everything you need to learn here. Pay special attention to the 11 reasons why the Dixie Insurance programs literally blow away the competition on price coverage and convenience. Also the coverage details of all five insurance policies and also what you need to know before you apply for coverage. You can also scroll down and you can check out our special risk management section that's applicable uh, to Dixie. And you can find actual risk management plans on how to mitigate the risk of child abuse, concussions, bleacher collapse, lightning safety, violence at the ballpark, and other serious risks. Now, if you're renewing your policy, you should receive an email from us with a link on what you need to do to renew or you can click on here, click here to renew now, and uh, I can tell you that, that we have a new change this year that when you renew, we now pre-fill all of your screens based on your prior year's information. So all you need to do is update, and, and what this does is it, it saves you time because it cuts down on your keystrokes. Now, if you're a new client, you would still come here and click here for instant online uh, quote and purchase, and in just about five or 10 minutes, you can do everything you need to do and you can print off your proof of coverage documents and your certificates for field owners. Now, after you apply for coverage, you're gonna receive an email with a link to all your coverage docs and you'll be able to use that link to self-issue any new certificates of insurance 24 seven. Here are the rate changes which we were able to negotiate for the 2023 season based on the loss history of each program. You can see here that all the rates will be the same as the prior year except the uh, DYB program will take an 8% increase on the accident. It's interesting that our overall per team rates are lower now than they were during the 2007 season, which is saying a lot once you take into uh, account annual inflation. The major concern from a liability perspective is still sex abuse and molestation lawsuits, or SAM lawsuits, which have absolutely killed the sports insurance industry, and this coverage may not be available in future years unless we can figure out how to control this risk. The carriers are serious about strict SAM risk management compliance, which includes proof that you've run criminal background checks and that you comply with the new federal Safe Sport Act. It's important for you to know that the $1 million limit that we provide for sex abuse and molestation coverage will be voided unless you do three things. First, you must run criminal background checks with acceptable results on all of your managers, coaches, and your other authorized adult participants in the league who have repetitive access and close contact with minor athletes. Second, you must have written policies and procedures in place to prevent an incident and third, you must have a written requirement to notify law enforcement in the event of an incident. So now the question is, how do you comply with this? In your franchise document, all leagues agree to adopt and implement the child abuse risk management plans that have been published by DYB, Dixie Boys, and Dixie Softball. If you adopt and implement these excellent child abuse plans, you will automatically meet the insurance requirements. You need to be able to prove that these documents or these plans were distributed to all 
of your adults and that they have agreed in writing that they've reviewed the plan and that they will comply. Furthermore, this will put you in compliance with the Federal Safe Sport Act. Concussion is also a major lawsuit risk in youth baseball and softball. Some state laws require youth sports organizations to have written concussion risk management plans. Examples would be CDC online coach training, uh, CDC educational handouts for coaches and parents, and written policies and procedures of identification, removal, return to play protocols, and medical clearance. Our website has a concussion template that you can adopt that will cover all of these requirements. I think we all know from all of the media accounts about fights at the ballpark and the stories about resignations of umpires that violence in sports is getting worse all the time. More and more of our clients at Sadler are reporting incidents about fights and some involve lawsuits against the leagues. So how can leagues be sued for sports violence? If a staff member, such as a coach, is the aggressor, your league can be sued for negligent hiring and or retention of staff with a known propensity for violence. And how do you know if they have a propensity for violence? You can find this out by running a criminal background check, just like the ones you run to uncover past acts of child abuse. And you must not hire or retain uh, any of those staff members that would trigger a disqualification uh, on the criminal background check. Another area of lawsuits arise when a league has knowledge of a threat and fails to take action to protect the player, staff, and spectators. For example, if you've had a past incident between parents of two teams or with a problem parent, you want to be proactive and to make sure this doesn't happen again. If violence is a problem or a potential problem in your league, you really need to check out a new blog that I recently posted on this topic, which you can find under the risk management section of our Dixie web pages. It explains exactly what you need to do to get in front of this problem. The cornerstones are to publish a zero tolerance policy and codes of conduct for coaches, umpires, and parents. And the code should have some serious sanctions for violation, including some of the ones that I have listed here. If you buy from the endorsed Dixie Insurance program, you'll automatically meet the rulebook insurance requirements for travel teams and tournament host, and you'll sail through the credentials meeting. Otherwise, if you buy elsewhere, you may not meet the technical requirements, and you may have to end up purchasing your insurance through us anyway. In closing, we wish you the best for the 2023 season, and please remember to visit our website at sadlersports.com for complete information on insurance and risk management. And remember that our highly trained staff is eager to assist you in any way that we can. We thank you for your business and continued support.